Hello and welcome to a new video about networks. Today we're talking about the final layer of the ISOL 7 layer model, network layer model, the layer 7, application layer. What's the task of the application layer? Well, we said layer 6 was presentation layer, so adapting different, different formats, uh, doing encryption and so on. And uh, application layer basically is the face the face of our network. So application layer provides provides a user interface. Yeah? So an, a client, let's call it client interface. Yeah? Provides a client interface. What does it mean? The application layer might uh, have some unified access yeah, to different lower levels yeah, so that it doesn't really matter if there is encryption, if there is no encryption, what type of, of intermediate format and so on you are choosing. The application layer from the application point of view looks the same. It somehow masks the underneath layers. Yeah? At least layer six, yeah, because layer six is also marking and so on, and and providing a unified access to there, and so unified, we have a unified access of applications, applications, okay such as in example excel or word to name some <laughs> microsoft products i'm not getting paid huh? why of course also other other uh, open office products and so on and websites yeah usually usually application is not part of this yeah so that's also worth to notice, the application itself is not part of the application. Is not part of this layer. Hmm? Application network, application layer in the network. Yeah? Simply provide an interface which is easy to use for an application. Right? Maybe some of the applications are can be considered to be part of this presentation layer. For instance, uh, with exceptions, I have with with exceptions. These are the applications which are purely designed for communicating. Yeah, this is for instance email client or web browser. Those can be considered as, as layer seven. They are incorporated in layer seven. Other, other things which are just using yeah, if maybe if you have a, a spreadsheet and want to access a data database, then there are certain protocol where you can access via level seven a database which is somewhere located. We don't know. Yeah, we route it to the network and so on. That's that's this. Yeah, typical protocols. Hypertext transfer protocol, HTTP, file transfer protocol, yeah, SMTP, mail transfer protocol. These are typical protocols of layer 7. The protocols you know, yeah, which you were typing. Nowadays you don't have to type it in in the, in the web browsers. HTTP double, how is it in this column? Not, it's, it's not double point. In German, it's doppelpunkt. In, in, it's column. Uh, English, it's column. Yeah. HTTP colon double slash www dot heinz com. 
<laughs> I'm not sure if this... Ooh, this is for sure the ketchup website. It's nothing to do with me. I'm not getting paid. Why not? <laughs> so this is layer 7. This is layer 7. Uh, now our layer model is complete. Yeah, so this is how usually um, things are, are organized. Yeah? And it's getting more and more versatile the more you get up in the layer. Yeah? Next time we are talking about or starting to talk about a typical or very widespread application. Yeah? That's Ethernet. Ethernet is nowadays everywhere. Now, this is why I picked this as an example for where we want to look into deeper. Yeah? Ethernet is specifying layer 1 and 2. And what is specified? We will start to talk in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.